I really want these locks off my scalp. If you're not using ACV, get you some. It's the goat. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Nishe. Welcome. If not, thank you for tuning back in. I appreciate you. So in this video, I am taking out these beautiful faux locks. Yes, y'all, it is time. My scalp been screaming, sis. So I've had these locks in for almost two months. Yeah, terrible, I know. So the hair that I have in are the Janet Collection Nala Tress Maverick Locks. I have colors 1B27 and 1B30. At least a month, a month and a half is what I would suggest in terms of a timeline for keeping in crochet hairstyles such as this. Because to keep this type of hair so close to your scalp, it can be very irritating, which is what it's doing to me right now. <laughs> So this is what the scalp and the roots are looking like. I don't know if you can see this, but I wanna say it's probably about an inch of new growth. The crochet here is starting to mat. You can see along the lock that got some strays and like these kind of pieces right here right here like my psoriasis really started acting up which is a sign for me that whatever hairstyle I have in needs to come out and I need to cleanse my scalp I had plaques of flakes just coming off of my scalp it was very nasty this is the other side you can see the discoloration in my skin with the psoriasis let me see if I do this yeah there you go you can see it start to flake up but I'm seeing this is the back I have another area of psoriasis back here, like in the middle. If you also want to see how I take care and maintain my hair in these styles, I will also link my maintenance routine down below. I did a video on that when I had my mini twists. So it's literally the same process. The only thing is that I recently started incorporating more of that sulfur 8 hair and scalp conditioner, especially around my edges. I noticed that with the bonnets and with my pillowcase and stuff, my edges are usually the first things to dry out. So I make sure at night I try to put something on my edges to moisturize them before going to sleep and sometimes also in the morning. Now, I did not wash my hair at all while it was in the style because the hair was too long and it was already getting kind of matted and I was not planning on keeping the style in as long as I did. So I'm going to start on this side. I'm gonna focus on the root. I'm looking for the spot where my braid is peeking out at the root. It may be a little hard to find, but it's right here. Do you see like right here where my braid is peeking out? That's where I'm going to pull out the braid from. I'm just going to pull out my twist from the inside of the lock. And then from here, I'm just going to unloop the hair. I only looped it once, so unlooping it should be fairly easy. Just take it out. And then just carefully pull it out. First of all, you want to lay a towel on your lap or over your torso, whatever is most easy and comfortable for you. Then I take my handy dandy apple cider vinegar, y'all. This stuff is the goat. I live and breathe by this stuff. All it is is like a fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar, and then I fill the rest of it with warm water. You can get these big industrial size type of spray bottles is what I usually put mine in because I use a lot. You can get these at Walmart, Dollar Tree, but the more water you have, the better. You can never put too much water. A little bit of apple cider vinegar goes a long way. So all I'm going to do is take it and then I'm going to, ah, got it in my eye. And I'm going to spray this twist and this should help to start making the hair more malleable and easy to work with. And then you want your steel pin, rat tail comb. So you can see it already has some of the hair loosening and curling so that it's easy to take out. So then now, all you have to do is just take your comb and go into the twist and start at the ends.
You don't want to go up too far. You can even do it with your fingers, but you have to really know how you twisted your hair, okay? At the ends, use the comb and carefully take that out. And once you get higher up and you know you've just twisted regularly, you can just unravel it. So now I'm at the base of that plait, and then I'm just going to use my comb and carefully take it out. You really want to be careful with your hair because you don't want to rip it or anything, which is why the apple cider vinegar is amazing because it softens the hair, it loosens it, so it's easier to deal with. And as you can see, there's still a lot of buildup right here. So all I do then is just go back in with some more apple cider vinegar on that area, work it in. Once you think you finger detangled it fairly well, you can go in with the comb and just comb out any dead or shedding hair. And that's what we have, y'all. So I'm probably just going to take out a bunch of the locks first and then go in and take down the twists. Another way that I discovered that you can take these out, it's a little bit easier. You'll take the lock and then you'll undo the knot. So you have to feel for that loop and stick your hand into the loop, stick your finger through and then pull the lock back out of the loop. Once you have done that, you can then pull your twist from out of the lock and then just pull the lock out of the base. And you want to do all of these steps carefully. Make sure you're really feeling the hair and knowing the difference between where your hair is and where the lock hair is. It can be a little hard because the hair gets tangled with your own hair, but this is where patience and a good mirror comes in handy. So when you have stuff like this, then you can always just snip it or you can just rip it as long as you know it's not your hair. And now when I go to take out this twist, this hair will come out as I take the twist out. I have taken all of the locks out and now I can work on taking out the individual twists. Remember that as you're doing this, you really want to pay attention to this area right here where the buildup is. That's where you want to be the most careful with your hair and also at the ends, of course. Then when you get to the plat, this is where I'm going to use the apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to spray so that as I'm taking it out, the comb won't like rip or pull my hair. To minimize the tediousness of this task, I kind of like to use my fingers a bit more because it's easier to feel where you are on the braid and you can just work your way up. Especially if you sprayed it with the apple cider vinegar, your hands should just glide through the rest of your hair. If you feel the hair getting dry or a bit snaggy, you can always just spray a little bit more apple cider vinegar on your hair so that you can start having a bit more slip. And that's it. I'm just going to work in sections. Once I have a decent amount of twists out, then you know, I'll twist it up. I'll keep working in sections until I have my four quadrants ready to be washed.
taking down my Maverick locks. I absolutely love, love, love using an apple cider vinegar rinse to take down my hair because it serves as a detangler in a pre-poo. It helps prepare the hair, make it softer, more manageable to get through the wash day. And apple cider vinegar does have cleansing properties. So it does begin the process of cleansing my scalp so that I will only need to shampoo once and I'll be able to get more benefits from the shampoo. So yeah. That is it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding the style. If you have any ideas for any future styles that you would like for me to try, leave them down below in the comments as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. God bless.